good evening students so in the previous class we had studied about spinal injury from definition to management hope you would have seen the videos and you would have gone through about the spinal cord injuries their like what is spinal cord injury what are the causes symptoms what are the management how we will manage the spinal cord injuries everything you would have seen in that video and notes also you would have observed i i feel like you would have uh, learnt whatever the things that i have dealt in the video so today we'll start with the other injuries like uh, like other spinal cord injuries which we had studied in the previous video so in this video we'll start with the next topic that is hemiplegia paraplegia and quadriplegia so in this first thing we'll start with hemiplegia so we'll see what is this hemiplegia now so hemiplegia it is nothing but trauma a uh, trauma induced paralysis hemiplegia is nothing but trauma induced paralysis that affects either side of the body okay that affects either side of the body often one arm or one leg so it is hemiplegia it is nothing but trauma induced paralysis okay hemiplegia is nothing but trauma induced paralysis that affect either side of the body okay that affect either side of the body like just one arm and one leg okay just one arm and one leg so what is hemiplegia hemiplegia usually a, it is a traumatic it is usually a traumatic induced paralysis okay hemiplegia it is usually a traumatic induced paralysis that affects either one side of the body or one arm and one leg so this hemiplegia usually occurs suddenly or it can develop slowly okay develop slowly over time okay so this hemiplegia develops suddenly okay this hemiplegia develops suddenly or it develops slowly over time okay develops slowly over time so what it what will happen is that the muscles get stuck in the contraction period okay the muscles get stuck in the contraction period resulting in little muscle control okay resulting in little muscle control so due to this what happen there will be chronic muscle pain okay due to this what will happen there will be chronic muscle pain as well as unpredictable movements okay as well as unpredictable movement so what is happening is that hemiplegia usually occurs suddenly or it develops slowly over time so what is happening in this hemiplegia is that the muscles usually cause it causes the muscles to get stuck in the contraction period okay it usually gets the muscles gets stuck in the contraction period so due to this they'll be having less muscle control and also they'll be having chronic muscle pain and also irrespectable movements will be there okay unpredictable movements okay there will be unpredictable movements okay? the movements they will not be knowing like why this movement occurred what is the reason for this movement so that is it is unpredicted movements usually occurs so that is usually about this hemiplegia so what is hemiplegia it is traumatic induced paralysis that usually occurs either side of the body or it might occur like in one arm or in one leg so that is hemiplegia so this hemiplegia usually occurs suddenly or it develops gradually okay or it develops gradually over time okay or it develops gradually over time so what is happening in this is that it usually causes the muscles to get stuck in the contraction period okay it usually gets stuck in the contraction period resulting causes less muscle control as well as muscle chronic muscle pain will be there and unpredictable movements can be seen okay and unpredictable movements can be seen so that is usually about this uh hemiplegia that hemiplegia understood so hemiplegia is nothing but traumatic induced traumatic induced paralysis that affects either side of the body or one arm and one leg so it is usually hemiplegia so next we'll see about the different types of hemiplegia okay so there are different types of hemi hemiplegia but four types the four different types of hemiplegia is there so in that first is facial hemiplegia okay so that is usually include facial hemiplegia cerebral hemiplegia uh, spastic hemiplegia and spinal hemiplegia so that is usually what happens so next is types of hemiplegia so may, there are mainly four types of hemiplegia okay there are mainly four types of hemiplegia facial hemiplegia cerebral hemiplegia uh, spastic hemiplegia and spinal hemiplegia so now we'll see one by one what is this uh, what were the different types of hemiplegia so in that first one i had told was facial hemiplegia okay so that is usually what happens so in this facial hemiplegia so there is usually what happen one side or the muscles of the one side of the face will be paralyzed okay the muscles of the one side of the face will be paralyzed so this is often caused due to stroke or any brain injury so that is usually what happen facial paralysis in this facial paralysis the muscles of one side of the face gets paralyzed okay the muscles of one side of the face will get paralyzed so this is mainly occurring due to stroke 
or any brain injury okay any brain injury the causes for this facial paralysis are nothing but stroke or any brain injury okay any brain injury so that is usually about this facial paralysis so what is facial paralysis facial paralysis it is usually where one's muscles of one side of the face gets paralyzed and this is mainly occurring due to stroke or any brain injury so that is usually about this facial paralysis so next is cerebral hemiplegia so cerebral hemiplegia it is also called as cerebral paralysis so this is usually occurs like the symptoms will be similar to that of the other forms of hemiplegia okay the symptoms will be similar to that of the other forms of hemiplegia but it depends on the severity of the cause okay it mainly depends upon the severity of the condition which is causing the paralysis okay it depends upon the severity of the condition that is causing the paralysis so that is usually about this occur so this cerebral hemiplegia can occur due to any conditions any conditions which is affecting the brain okay so the cerebral para paralysis can occur due to any conditions that is affecting the brain so it is mainly it is caused by cerebral palsy okay mainly it is caused by cerebral palsy so cerebral paralysis it is usually caused by cerebral palsy or any other brain conditions and this is usually what is happening it is that it is usually symptoms are similar to the other paralysis hemiplegia okay other hemiplegia but it de depends upon the condition of the cause okay so severity of the condition cause of like severity of the condition that is affecting the that is causing the paralysis okay it mainly depends upon the severity of the condition which is causing this paralysis okay which is causing this paralysis so that is cerebral hemiplegia so next is spastic hemiplegia so when you are talking about spastic hemiplegia okay when we are talking about this spastic hemiplegia so this is usually what happen they like one side of the muscles okay in, when, the, when in the body one side of the muscles are in this constant in the state of constant contraction okay are in the state of constant contraction so in this spastic hemiplegia what is happening so where the muscles of the one side of the body okay muscles of the one side of the body usually will become a constant contraction will be there okay where we are involved in the constant contraction so that is usually what happen when there is constant contraction muscle there will be muscle, it results in muscle pain and also there will be deformities of the affected limbs okay we can see deformity in the affected limb so they will be having difficulty to walk muscle control will be lost completely so that is usually about this spastic hemiplegia so spastic hemiplegia it is nothing but muscles of the one side of the body are in the constant contraction okay or in the constant contraction so it is muscles of the one side of the body it is constant contract it will be usually involved in the state of constant contraction so do this what happen muscle pain will be there and also they will be having deformity in the affected limbs they will not be able to walk they and also the movements usually what happen they will not be able to maintain muscle control okay they will not be able to maintain muscle control so that is usually about this spastic hemiplegia okay that is usually about this spastic hemiplegia so next is spinal hemiplegia so when we are talking about the spinal hemiplegia this usually occurs due to incomplete injury of the spinal cord it usually occurs due to incomplete injury to the spinal cord it, it is usually a results of an incomplete injury to the spinal cord this usually or if there is any lesions in the spinal nerve okay or if there is any lesions in the spinal cord so this occurs if the injury is to the c6 okay if it occurs to the injury if it is in the c6 vertebra okay if it is uh, if the injury is in the c6 vertebra so spinal hemiplegia it is not it is result of an incomplete injury to the spinal cord or lesions in the spinal nerves okay or due to lesions in the spinal nerves it mainly occurs to if the injury it if it, is, it occurs mainly if the injury is in the c6 vertebra okay if it is injury is in the c6 vertebra so this is usually about this types of hemiplegia so there are mainly four types of hemiplegia facial hemiplegia cerebral hemiplegia uh, spastic hemiplegia and spinal hemiplegia so when we are talking about this facial hemiplegia so this usually occurs where one side of the facial muscles will get paralyzed and this is mainly due to stroke or any brain injury cerebral hemiplegia it is mainly caused due to cerebral palsy we have the symptoms are same to the uh, same to that of the other other hemiplegia but the severity mainly depends upon the condition that is causing the 
paralysis now the third is spastic hemiplegia spastic hemiplegia usually occurs where one side muscles of the one side of the body are in a state of constant contraction due to which there will be muscle pain deformities in the affected limb they will not be able to walk they will not be able to control the muscles so it is spastic hemiplegia and the fourth is spinal hemiplegia this occurs as a result of an incomplete injury to the spinal cord or if there is any uh, lesions in the spinal nerves and this mainly occurs if the injury is due to, to C6 so in this video we have studied about hemiplegia so what is hemi definition of hemiplegia hemiplegia is nothing but traumatic brain injury uh, traumatic sorry it is usually hemiplegia it is nothing but traumatic induced paralysis okay it is usually nothing but traumatic induced it is nothing but traumatic induced paralysis that affects either side of the body or one arm or one leg and next we saw regarding different types of hemiplegia that is there are four different types of hemiplegia facial hemiplegia uh, cerebral hemiplegia spastic hemiplegia and spinal hemiplegia so remaining we'll see in the next video